when you say intellectual property treaties and then uh, uh, protection, uh, does it is is it encompassing? It includes everything. Does it include music? Yes. All intellectual property, Mr. President, including uh, music. I have, uh, by the way, I make it of record that the person advising me is the, the person who, how many years did you negotiate for this? Eight years. Eight is the person, the point person of the Philippines when we negotiated this uh, treaty for eight long years. Mm -hmm. So we have uh, DTI ASEC, Alan Hepti, uh, who is Miniso. Uh, the, answer is, the answer to the question of the Senate President is yes, yes. All, it's yes including ano? music, yes. Yan ang, ano, yan ang uh, isang problema ko, Your Honor. You see, um, <coughs> so, so what does it entail? Ang ibig sabihin nito, what does it entail? Uh, yung mga intellectual property rights natin, ay pwede nating masingil sa kanila. At yun namang intellectual property rights nila ay pwedeng masingil sa atin. Ganun, ano? The answer is yes. All right. Facil uh, it will facilitate and the cooperation of collective management organization. So, collection of royalties, uh, Mr. President. Ayun. Very yeah. specific, yes. Mm. Correct. Uh, that was the same problem that I had many years ago na mukhang hanggang ngayon yun pa rin na magiging problema natin if we should take a second look on this what, what, what do I mean? Mm, bakit, <coughs> bakit? Ang, uh, ang analogy kasi niyan noong no, araw ang, ang problema namin was that uh, uh, I was a musical director you know, before so we, when we produce movies and I um, and I use um, um, music for post-production or even when we record uh, uh, Filipino versions of, uh, of songs abroad. No? And when radio and television play uh, foreign music, open lang a market noong araw eh, until we entered the WTO. Uh, they got the general agreement on tariff and trade in WTO. During that time, even the people like uh, Freddy Aguilar, Basil Valdez, Suiko Puno, they were all uh, praises at nakakumbinsi sila ng Department of Trade na suportahan yung WTO dahil daw makakasingil na sila doon sa mga royalties. Ang problema, and I brought it to their attention, and I will bring it again to the attention of the DTI now. Noong araw, tayo, gamit tayo ng gamit ng musika ng abroad. Katulad ngayon, South Korea, ang tindi ng gamit dito sa atin. Ano? Tayo naman, wala naman tumutugtog ng between walang ningning nun. Ah. Wala rin tumutugtog ng mga bagong kantang Pilipino. Eh. Wala tayong sisingilin. Dahil hindi naman nila tayo, hindi naman nila tayo ginagamit. Eh. Pero tayo, gamit na gamit sa kanila. So that was what I was telling those artists before. Huwag kayong kagat ng kagat, wala kayong masisingil. Walang radio station ang tutugtog ng ngayon at kailanman. Ano? But uh, ano yung bago? Morning, noon and night, wala akong marinig, kundi yung bumbaya ba yun? Ano yung gumbaya? Ano <laughs> yung bumbaya? It's a Korean hit now. Ha? Huh? Ano? By the Blackpink. Blackpink? O, paano ngayon? Masisingil na naman tayo ng gusto, pero tayo hindi makakasingil. Dahil hindi naman nila tinutugtog yung music natin eh. That was the problem that I was uh, maintaining. So uh, I, I uh, was saying, so when I heard you say intellectual property rights included in dito, isa sa mga books, 20 books, baka mo yan. 20 chapters, sir. The chapters, 20 uh. chapters. Medyo, ito na naman ang problema nakita ko. Uh, kasali ba ang South Korea? John? Yes, uh, okay. The RCEP uh, consists of ASEAN, which has 10 member states, which is the, actually the central entity, and then the five other economies of uh, South Korea, China, Japan, Australia, and uh, New Zealand. Mr. President. Uh, that's my worry. Ang lalaki na naman ang kikitain ng Blackpink at saka nung pero, BTS <laughs> dito pero, sa Pilipinas. <laughs> pero, oh, ewan ko kung may masisingil sila Ann Curtis na. Oh, 
I will. If, uh, if I will be allowed uh, to, re to respond, uh, Mr. President, without consulting the, the resource persons, we just, you know, I balik ako sa ano natin kahapon eh. Uh, don, malaki, that's why I, the, the bet, I'm betting our future on uh, creativity. So this Philippine Creatives uh, uh, Development Council, we, we, pa we ratified yesterday. So if they can have a plan, a long-term plan to develop Filipino creativity, kasama po kasi yung songwriting, songwriting doon eh. Mm -hmm. uh, film, uh, computer, marami po yung nine domains yun eh. So, uh, because of this framework agreement, pag, gamit, pag magustuhan naman kasi naman, pag magustuhan naman kasi yung ating tugtog din, ang ating music, makakasingil na po tayo because pantay-pantay uh, na po. R rules are clear. Uh, all treaty, all the treaties are applicable, so makakasingil po tayo. So, siguro, uh, ito lang, uh, Mr. President, we give credit where credit is due. Eh, magaling din siguro yung South Korean composer na nagustuhan ng Pilipino market, ginagamit sila. Uh, pakita natin na ang Pilipinas, uh, we adhere and we follow treaties that we are uh, parties to and we will pay the corresponding uh, royalty payments, Mr. President. If the chair will be allowed In to interject uh, with the permission of the two gentlemen, I'd like to uh, summarize the ongoing discussion in one simple analogy. No? Uh, we are an ant, the Philippines is an ant among elephants. No? And to be more specific, the Philippines is an ant among one elephant, which is, chi which is China, two baby elephants, Japan and Australia, some galloping horses like South Korea, Singapore, even Malaysia, New Zealand. So how can we compete? If you are able to convince uh, the chair, uh, Mr. Uh, uh, sponsor, then probably I can change my mind because I'm one of the few or a number of reluctant uh, senators uh, to, uh, in, in supporting this measure or this agreement, this partnership. Thank you. Even the internet, uh, kasi, yes. yeah. parang uh, talagang agrabyado tayo eh. Uh, for example, let's say, um, sinasabi nga, siguro, what you mean, uh, Your Honor, is that uh, we should be, we should in reinvent ourselves. We should be more Correct. competitive para magustuhan din nila tayo. Correct, sir. Problema, the, the taste of the Filipino, I don't, why, I don't know why we have been convinced by the, the taste of South Korea. As far as music is concerned, eh, tayo, tayo, meron tayong Ben and Ben, meron tayong parokya ni Edgar, hindi nila pinapansin eh. Paano tayo makakapasok sa market nila? De, uh, diba? Yes, sir. Uh, actually, uh, using the analogy of the elephants, uh, the, the, R, the, the, the RCEP uh, provides rules that even the elephants must follow. So, and then, actually, actually, sir, tama yun eh. Uh, if you look at China, it is the market of China which is also an elephant, which the ant should also desire to sell to. You know, yun po yun eh. That is, the, that is actually the essence of this free trade agreement eh. Na, wh why are we interested actually in uh, uh, having a free trade agreement with China? Because we are talking about opening up their market. Oh, so, pero if we do nothing after they open up but we don't take advantage of the agreement, wala, nobody benefits. But that's why we need to take advantage. Sila naman, they're very entrepreneurial, nakatingin din sila sa Philippine market of uh, 110 million. Sabi na, okay, we will now inv uh, we will uh, come up with uh, uh, products, uh, uh, heavy on technology or good in design, pleasing to the eyes, pleasing to the, to the ears, to sell to the market of 110 million. So sana tayo, Philippines, we will have, Filipinos will be entrepreneurial enough to look at that market of 1.3 billion. 1.3 billion. So ganun, so ganun din po yun. So it's also an elephant of a market which we, which we can also take advantage of. So nasa sa atin na po yun. It's just the agreement is just a framework eh. Framework agreement, klaro ang rules, applicable sa malaki, applicable sa maliit. Then uh, let uh, creativity, ano pa? 
uh, imagination and resilience, resourcefulness. Take over. All right. What are the what are the gains that we um, that we can get? No. Gains. No. Um, what or what are the benefits that we can get from RCEP that cannot be gained from the recent economic laws that we passed? No, like the amendments to the retail trade liberalisation law, the amendments to the foreign investments act. And the amendments to the public service act. And bukod dito, mar may mga marami tayong gains dito. The, the sponsors here in the Senate and in the House of Representatives will be able to convince us na kaya importante ito mga ito because of the gains that we will get from the international community. What else can we get uh, from uh, the RCEP that we cannot get from these uh, three uh, major laws that we have just recently passed? Yung RTLA kasi, sir, uh, oh, uh, ano yun eh, RTLA uh, will now allow them to invest more in retail trade dito sila to create jobs here. Ito. Come here, come to the Philippines, invest, we'll have jobs for our people, maybe cheaper goods also for our consumers. Parang sa foreign investments, ganun din po yun, $200,000 to $100,000 ginawa natin. And then PSA, ganun din, uh, sectors of our economy, we open. Pasok kayo, invest here, yan on. So, samantalang ang, ang, ang RCEP is actually, we want to access their market. Tayo naman ang punta ron. Oh, that is, that, that is the, that is the uh, essence of RCEP. So, pero at, the, at by, by, by having that opportunity or right to access their market, Meron tayong concession din, di ba? Na, yeah, meron din silang oh, right to access can, oh, our market. Oh, oh, okay. Oh. Pero, okay, ang market kasi, ang mar our market is all already accessible. We just, you know, the tariff rates are reduced from 5% on a certain good, minababa natin to 3%, or some will go all the way to zero after 15 years. Ganun po yung mga mechanism doon to, just as a, con as a concession. Pero, actually, ang ending nito, they made more concession to us, yeah. But ang, ang bottom line, sir, as uh, from our from my discussion with the lead uh, negotiator of the Philippines, those five uh, larger economies made more concessions to ASEAN. Sa ASEAN sila sa nag, uh, nag hindi naman sa individual countries, but they made concessions to ASEAN. Uh, for example, bigyan mo ko ng example yung pineapple ba yun sa bayong sa bayong example yung may maganda example sir eh. <laughs> Ah, sige. Kunyari, for example, sir, uh, they do, yun muna yung, yung ano, for example, ito, 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 ito. For example, sir, yung producers, farmers and producers natin ng papaya at durian, uh, they, can, they can now export to South Korea. Kasi nag, may concession si South Korea <coughs> sa Asia na uh, 24% pa lang tariff niyan, sir, ang papaya at durian. Sa pagdating sa South Korea, so yung 100% Pesos mo, 124 ka agad dun because of the tariff. Ang sabi ng, ang sabi ng South Korea, if it, if it comes from Philippines and uh, ASEAN, it will be zero in 10 years. So, ganun yun. So, market access. So, if we want to take advantage of that, we have to, take a, we have to plant, we have to plant uh, what we can sell in uh, South Korea. And then... Uh, De, uh, sino yes, makikinabang dun sa, sa reduction of tariff nun? Because, okay, our, our, our papaya, for example, or durian, eh, gamitin ko yung specific, sir, kasi mm, yun ang... Sige, ano, papaya, papaya. Uh, papaya Pagyari, uh, 100 units ang price niya. Uh -oh. Pagdating doon, it will now become 124, because 24% uh -oh. yung ano. Uh -oh. Oh. Ngayon, because of RCEP, in 10 years' time, Wala na yung 24, so one, yung 100 units cost ng ating papaya will now be 100 pa rin do, wala ng tariff. So, the expectation is that, yes, it's lower price, therefore it might gain market share. It might gain consumers. Kasi 124 siya ngayon, in 10 years time, 100 na lang siya. Bakit 
tataas ang mm. ang uh, market share or ang number of consumers buying uh, that Philippine product. In fact, ngayon nagbe-benefit na sila sir kasi Does it mean ba na liliit na hindi kaya hindi ba ganun ang ang entity ko ha? Para liliit yung income nung mag-e-export from Hindi sir kasi tariff eh. Uh, it's got the, 20, the the yung ating 100 price hmm. units na naging 124 that, twen that, twen that 24 is collection of the South Korean uh, government. Sa kanila? Oo, oh, oh, sa kanila. Sa PowerPoint, sir, number two tayo. So, kaya, sir, ano to? I mean, uh, ah, ayan, ito, ito ba? Yes, sir. Ah, for example, number sir, ito. Uh, sir two na sana kung may pointer tayo. <coughs> ah. That one, sir, is... So, for example, sir, itong uh, we are showing on the slide, uh, the papaya, because we, we are, we're discussing it. Wala pang RCEP niyan. Oh, wala pang RCEP niyan. Uh, Philippines is blue line. Oh, we are now, asin yung nasa tas? Malaysia ba yan? Oh, we, oh, yung orange po na nasa ibaba natin, Malaysia, Philippines number two na yan. Wala pa pong RCEP yan, may mga tariffs pa yan. If we do not become a member, so ito yung, ito yung argument namin sa if we do not become a member, we might even lose that uh, market share and that ranking uh, and, and, and the volume of sales because yung, yung other ASEAN countries would be exporting papaya to South Korea under RCEP na zero na ang tariff. Sa Philippines, kung hindi ka member ng RCEP, 24%. Tama. Yeah? So, ganun, sir. Ganun, uh, I, uh, I beg your indulgence, Your Honor. Talagang gusto ko lang intindihin ito. Um, I hope you explain it to me like I was uh, grade 3. Uh, ang intindi ko kasi, kung pababa ng pababa ang tariff nila, nila. Ano, na in 10 years, wala na, ang makikinabang doon, yung nag import yes, the, 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 the Korean importer. The Korean importer. Yes, but... Siya makikinabang. Uh, correct. Sa tayo, yun din ang presyo niya din eh. But if, uh, if the Korean importer buys papaya from the Philippines... Zero ang tariff niya. But if he buys papaya from, I'll uh, invent a country, Ecuador, meron siyang, ta meron siyang tariff doon. So he will choose mm. the Philippine papaya. So, because sa atin nabibili kasi uh, ma ma walang tariff or yes, mababa ang tariff nila. Uh, uh, in, the, in the sense that the, their mark, the, the Korean market might respond, di ba? Kasi, di ba, si, si Philippine na papaya will sell at 100, si Ecuadorian papaya will sell at, uh, let's say, assume natin, 30% ang tax, so 130. So, ganun po yun. E, oh. e, e, may, hindi kaya naman merong efekto no, baka mawala na tayo ng papaya dito dahil papadala na lahat doon dahil ma, maganda ang market doon. Productivity na lang, sir. That's the, uh, that's why siguro nga ang ating uh, uh, ano to, key, key word or slogan natin is productivity <laughs> is the name of the game. Uh, ano, plant, plant, plant that, uh, plant or produce that item which we can sell to the rest of the world, because uh, believe sila that it's made in the Philippines or planted or coming from the Philippines. The, I am tempted to 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 ask, are we ready? Yes, sir. Uh, <laughs> Sir, uh, we, are, we are ready, but then uh, sometimes, kasi, sometimes knowing the Filipino, if, if we force ourselves, I think we will be, we will be ready and we will respond to the, to the challenges and to the situation. But the DTI says we are ready. And actually, sir, we are ready to compete in their market. Ang, ang tanong kasi is, are we ready for them to compete in our market? But our lead negotiate, negotiator emphasizes that we only actually made concessions. Ibig sabihin nun, binabaan natin yung tariff natin, our pre-RCEP tariff, bababaan natin sa RCEP only in 33. Uh, only in 33 tariff lines for the agri products. 33 lang, sir. Uh, the total tariff lines, kasi ang, ang usapan, sir, ito, sir, ito rin natutunan ko rito sa pag-aarab ko rito. 
there is a harmonized ano pala yan eh ano ba yun sa tariff harmonized uh, system of tariff so that's that's their language they talk they talk on uh, tariff so they talk about tariff lines pagdating sa agriculture there would be around around 600 how many 600 data na Oh, 1,718 tariff lines in agriculture. Only in 33 tariff lines did the Philippines open up in the sense na binabaan natin yung tariff. Some, some from 5 to 3 percent, and then some, bigyan mo yung example. Nag-zero tayo sa iba in 10 years, may mga ganon. So, ganun yun, sir. And then, according to our lead negotiator, ah, Of the 33 tariff lines, 17 tariff lines are raw materials. So, anong implication nun? Ang argument nila dun, kung raw, pinabaan mo, ang tariff, di mas mura ngayon doon sa Filipino using the raw material to produce a product. Tama? That's correct, no? Okay. 8 of the 33 are inputs also in production. Parang inputs in production also. And then only eight, only walo, walo sir, eight tariff lines are final goods na for consumption. So, kung ang argument is 17 are raw materials, 18 are inputs, so 25 tariff lines we have lowered, ang expectation is the consumer price of that product using the the items should also go down. Yun pa expectation. For the domestic market, bababa din. Or for for export din yun, more competitive din yung price niya, mas bababa. So that's the theory, sir, behind the behind this. Ah, okay. May dagdag pa. May technical may technicality pa ang dagdag na yung 33 tariff lines na binabaan lang natin pala, directed only at Four countries, eh, lima lang naman yung kausap niya. Four countries, Australia, New Zealand, South Korea, and China. So meaning to say, yung Japan, for example, Japan, wala. Even doon sa 33 tariff lines na yun, pag magpasok ang Japanese good falling under that tariff line, hindi siya, ano siya, old rate siya. Tama? Tama? Old rate. Uh, MFN rate siya, hindi siya RCEP rate kasi hindi natin sinama si Japan. So, ganun po yung mga technicalities po. Alright. <clears throat> well, uh, I'm really trying my best to to, um, to digest the, the, the propositions of the gentleman no? and the explanation of the, the negotiators from the Department of Trade. And you will have to, to um, ka nga eh, kailangan pagpapasensyaan nyo ko because I've had a very bad experience before. Eh. Yan ang, ganyan yung mga narinig ko nung araw eh. Na, di ba? Hindi, may mga safeguards tayo. Mayroong protection na ganito. Na, wala eh. Came about na wala eh. You know, when we entered the WTO, it was the Olympics of trade. And we were not ready for the Olympics. We were ready for the barangay, ano, barangay. Liga. <laughs> oh, liga ng barangay. Ganun eh. Nung napasok tayo eh. And then after 10 years, so what happened? Siyempre, yung presidente nung araw, nung panahon na yun, na nagkukumbinsi sa amin, eh wala na siya, hindi na siya nakaupo. Tatawa-tawa lang siya. Anyway, that's, ganun po ang, I hope you understand where I'm coming from. Another intervention from the chair, if I may. Yes, sir. Before claiming, Your Honor, Mr. Sponsor, before claiming that we are ready, we should first ask a question, are we prepared? Because being ready, We should be prepared, di ba? 